Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to bring to you guys my first update for my round three project pan. Took me a second there. Um, so yeah, this is just my update. It's been about two weeks since I first uploaded my video on my actual project pan. And I feel like I've done some significant work, some more than others. But um, yeah, so let's get into that. I will mention I am feeling a little under the weather, so if my voice is a little crackly or raspy, my apologies. So let's jump right into this. The first products, um, let's see, we're going to do the products that I finished. I finished four products, and I wasn't really surprised to finish these. I kind of expected that there was going to be a few products straight from the get-go that I was going to finish out. The first one was something I rolled over from my previous project pan. It was the Some Kind of Gorgeous by Benefits. This sucker is all done. I know um, there's another YouTuber who was using this and she finished it in like a week from start to finish. I only used this under my eyes as like a under eye concealer because it was light enough and it just worked for me that way. I didn't like it all over my face and I did have to set it with a powder. Will I go and purchase this? I don't think so. I wasn't in love with it. It wasn't the most amazing foundation or concealer that I came across, but that's done. The next product was my Too Faced bronzer sample. This was the Chocolate Soleil and the Endless Summer. Um, whoop, let me go get that. Um, the, which one was it? The Chocolate Soleil I found was a little dark for me. I think I still, I have a full sample, like, um, in the pot form that I want to try out. I think I have to kind of play around with the different brushes that I have because it was at times way too dark and it just didn't look right. The Endless Summer was extremely, extremely shimmery. I don't know if I would necessarily use that one. So, um, it's a maybe. I'm not sold on them just yet. And uh, next product, something I'm kind of now going back and being like, wow, maybe I shouldn't have said that. I think I jinxed it. It is the Real Tree uh, perfume sample. I was so sure that I loved it, that I wanted to purchase it. Thankfully, I didn't purchase it. But after wearing it around for two weeks, using the sample up, really seeing how it worked with my body chemistry th from hot days to the cooler fall days up here in the Northeast, because um, we've had a few cool days, like 60 degrees, and then we had like 81 degrees like two days ago, which was nuts. But I'm not liking it. It's nice at first, but then there's some sort of under... It's got like this musky baby powdery type of fragrance, maybe a sweetness, and it just doesn't mesh well with my chemistry. So not going to purchase that. And the last product, I actually used this up this morning, was the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion. It's the Skin Exfoliant, and I really like this. It smells delightfully of lemons. It is so nice, but the price is 78 bucks, and I cannot justify that at all. Even if there was some sale, I couldn't justify $78 or like even $50 for a scrub, especially since I find that I have quite a few other skin exfoliators from the drugstore that I prefer or find work just as well. So that was nice to use. I would definitely love more samples of that, but I am not purchasing that. So those are the products that I finished. Moving on to the products that I am still working on. I was a little over ambitious and I thought that I was going to use my e.l.f. tinted lip balm. It is the shade peach. I did use it a few times, but with the seasons being so all over the place, I wasn't sure how this would work out. And since my wardrobe, like I've already switched over to like my quarter sleeve shirts. Um, that's what I've got. I don't know if I'll finish this, but I wear it around the house at least. So that gets some use. Uh, next is the Love and Beauty number four lipstick. That is what I'm wearing today. Actually, I've used it a few times. Um, I think I've been working more on glosses and lip balms because with the temperature changes, it's just been kind of all over the place. But I definitely, I like this color. I see myself wearing this a lot more. And then, of course, my lip gloss. It's the Pop Beauty, what were you, Peony Petal or Petal Peony? 
it's a nice shade. I don't see, like I tried to swirl the brush around and I'm not seeing like any movement in there. So we'll see about that. Next product, my Porefessional. I'm using that daily. I usually just put it right around my um, cheek and nose just to fill that in. Whoop! That was my Lartz, my Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes that just fell on the floor and like rolled all the way that way. So I'm not going to go get that. But it um, it's still working great. I like it. It's what I'm wearing on my lashes today. I don't know if it's much help because I'm wearing glasses. But um, I enjoy it. I think it's a very nice mascara. And I like that the wand isn't huge. Thank you, finally. Next is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Definitely putting more work into there. I'm hitting the last final outer ring. I think in a few more days, I'm just going to mash it up, put it in the center. I just haven't found the time recently to sit there, make sure my workspace is clean, and move on to that. My Elizabeth Mont, um, what were you, the eyeshadow pencil? I haven't touched that yet. And neither have I touched the Derma E Micro Dermabrasion Scrub, but now since I finished this sucker, I can move on to this sucker. Happy moment. <clears throat> the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. This is really nice. I found that when I took the stopper out, I still had plenty of product, so I'm still working my way through it. I'm emptying it, but it's not empty just yet, but I like it. It's a pretty color. And lastly, I have my Lord & Berry uh, Silk Mini Kajal Coal Liner. Um, my one kind of qualm about this so far is since it's a wooden pencil, it's not a smooth wooden pencil. So as I'm sharpening it, I'm getting like the little um, wood fibers kind of splattering all over the place, sometimes even getting into the cream of the liner itself. So I'm not entirely impressed by that aspect of it, but it still works. It's a nice black liner. Quite, It's not the creamiest, but it's creamy. So I'm enjoying that. So... Yes, I have finished four products. I have six more to go before I can call this project pan done. And I'm excited. And I've got some really great products in here. And I'm enjoying the way that they come together to create a nice look. So I'll see you guys in my next video. And have a great day. Bye.